Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, this is Gibby the Scrapper. Uh, for everybody that's uh, wondering how to get started out in this, making money as a hobby and or business, I will give you an idea of how I did it. Uh, I went to the council, town council of a city, or town, <laughs> but anyway, I approached them of removing their e-waste for them, free of charge. Well, I've already got one town that I'm doing this with. Was this is a new one? So they set up a time for me to pick up uh, on a Saturday. I opened up. We opened up, started taking everything about nine o'clock in the morning, and uh, it lasted until twelve o'clock noon. But I'm going to show you some of the results that I've got. Uh, I'd say I gave uh, one maybe half of the stuff to a friend of mine that's doing this also but I'm going to show you what I pulled out of there let me turn the camera here okay here we have a stack of your desktops or excuse me laptops here I pulled all them out last Saturday I got a lot of power tools here for those that like the micro scrap you can get in here and take out the copper out of the motors and separate stainless steels and the steel off of that. Here's another pile of computers. Uh, majority of them's computers. I got up some uh, dish boxes, but like I say, majority of them are the computers. We've got a couple game serving computers to do. This is just a small load that I pulled out. Okay, here's some more of them computers in this stack. <laughs> Look at all that. And they, of course, they've got their RAMs. They've got the uh, CPUs, the board, everything in there. Let's just see a little bit of there. You got your power supply. Uh, it looks like they've taken the hard drive out of this one. I've taken the RAM out of this. But uh, that's what I'm getting there. And over here, we get little components. Oh, what is that? Oh, CB radio, one of them. And these here are all your uh, dehumidifiers. They are loaded in copper. Okay, I got me a battery charger. That's no good. There. Let's look here. I'll show you some of that stuff inside these humidifiers. I don't know how well you can see that. You got your coppers. Uh, here we go. A little better one. This is like a refrigerator or an air conditioner. You still got it. You got your electric motors right here. So, but then I pulled out some more computers. Here's some Xbox systems. I got four of them. More of your desktops. All the way over here. I got a lot of your uh, picture tube TVs, CRTs. Now here, a buddy of mine taking the majority of those off my hands. Got a crap load of flat screens. Nice size CRT or CTRs here's my microwaves we got we got them here I got a few back setting back there with the coffee pot set on it uh, or no I'm sorry there's both microwaves there there's another set there I got electric uh, smoker there mini fridge and then we got it in the truck uh, they get brought fans uh, printers over here some more monitors, old-fashioned printers, stands. Oh, that's a coffee pot there. Oh, I got keyboards. These are computers I got out of a uh, uh, business. DQ actually. Uh, he replaced everything he had in there. Give me about 180 pounds of this stuff. Uh, VCRs, DVDs. All this type of stuff we're, I pulled out. A little mini, mini picture tube right there. And monitor. Looks, I don't know why they got that board on, or the cardboard on it. But then I had a friend give me her sanctuary unit. And some more stuff I pulled out of there. I got a little weed eater, electric weed eater. Uh, CB radios, things like that's in that bot, that bag. And let's take a quick trip into the shop here and uh, I'll show you some of the boards I've got from them and this here's good money makers 
Yeah, it's kind of a mess. But I pulled the, all this stuff out. Finger, gold finger boards. Okay. Uh, a lot of different boards in here. I have a whole bag of rams. Yeah. Board sword's going to love me there. <coughs> but that's what I pulled out of this here. Uh, hello, do I got a bunch of boards ready to go. Uh, so if you uh, really want to get into this, you can do that. Uh, there's no excuse not to. Just keep in mind, if you go to a town and uh, you're going to do an amnesty day, I advise you have at least two, three trucks to haul the stuff out. And don't leave nothing left. I I tell them I guarantee that the hard drives in these computers here, they get destroyed. Guaranteed. Uh, one guy, when I was doing the amnesty, he came in, he was wanting to buy parts out of the computer. And I told him, no, I can't do that. I give my word that I was destroying them. He goes, well, I'm not after the hard drives. I said, no, I told him that the computer's going to get completely destroyed. So if you give the, the town and the city, you give them your word, stand by that. Uh, yeah, it was tempting. I got some good parts in there. I could have sold. I could have made big money off of, but I can't. Uh, when I tell them I'm destroying, I'm destroying this. But that you do on your own, okay? If you want to resell some of the parts, so be it. Uh, just let them know up front what you're going to do with the stuff. If you're going to destroy, if you're going to resell, or however you want to do that. But uh, I could make more money reselling, but I can't. I'm not going to do that. Too much headache for me. As you can see, this is just small amounts of my work. I got a, a refrigerator sitting in the back. I got a mini freezer sitting back there. Uh, that All this here is just, I've got this within that pickup. So it gives you an idea how to go about getting your little uh, hobby started make extra money just be prepared when you get asked for it you're gonna get it so until next time you guys have a safe scrapping experience and good luck getting your business give you out